Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a cool little trick on how you can use the embedded animations in your animated props and apply them to your own custom props by uh, replacing different images in the embedded props and uh, keeping those animations. So first of all, let's talk about what animated props are. If you want to find your animated props in Crazy Talk Animator 3, you can go here to the prop uh, tab over here and under G3 Animated Props, you'll find a bunch of them right here. Let's just apply a couple of them quick to our uh, scene here just to kind of demonstrate how to use these. Uh, let's find a different one here. Maybe this uh, camera one's kind of cool. All right, so each animated prop has its own special embedded animations. And all you need to do to access those is right-click it and select Action Menu. And each one will have a different number of uh, actions. So, for example, this one we can select Alarm Clock Start. It'll appear on the screen kind of like an elastic motion. And then we can use Alarm Clock Second Hand like that. And it'll go for a few seconds there. And... Uh, Maybe more than a few seconds, but we'll go ahead and, uh, if you go, if you press start and go to the beginning here, it'll actually, you know, go to the original, uh, initial starting point where it's going to be kind of invisible to the naked eye there. So what you want to do is go to a point like this and then right click it and select remove object animation. And that's going to remove all the animation there. Okay. So we can do other stuff like action menu, uh, you know, ringing. It'll go ring just like that and action menu, uh, end and it'll kind of disappear. All right. So let's just use those two. This one has a couple of cool ones. Uh, action menu, there's archery start where it'll appear on the screen. And then action menu, hitting bullseye with uh, three arrows that come in from all different angles there. And you can do the archery end. And that'll disappear along with the uh, clock there as well. And the camera's pretty cool too. So again, action menu, uh, camera start. It'll pop up on the screen. This one has a number of different images included in the prop so they can appear separately. Then you go action menu, camera flash, take that picture, and then action menu, camera end. And it'll disappear. All right. And then you can, you know, go to whatever frame you want and you can see that they're all on the screen right now. I'm going to just delete them all because we're going to talk about how to customize your prop next by replacing the prop images. So let's bring in this uh, dangerous animated prop here. Okay. So I'm going to just double click to apply that to our scene here. And I'm going to right click it and action menu. You can see it has a dangerous start. So it'll appear kind of like danger. Do not enter kind of uh, popping onto the screen there. Okay, so we've applied that animation. Like I, like I mentioned at the very beginning, it's going to be kind of like invisible, okay? Or at this point, it's going to be invisible. I think I applied it at a different frame here. If you want to know what kind of, what, which frame you applied your uh, animation at, you can press F3 and go into the timeline, and it'll be under the motion track. You can see we applied this one here at about frame 45. So let's bring it to the beginning just to kind of make things even here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the images on this prop. So let's go over here to the composer. Uh, and the composer is where you can replace your images. Now, this is the important part here. You need to make sure that you go to uh, the custom tab up here first. And under props, you'll find your custom props that you've saved. Uh, I have a folder here for the compass. Uh, this is the one we're going to use to replace uh, all these items here. Now, notice if I right click on this and I select find file, these are all saved as crazy talk animator prop files. Okay, you need to save them as prop files. You can't use uh, JPEG images or anything like that. You need to save them as prop files first. So you're probably wondering uh, at this point, how do I save a custom prop? Well, it's actually quite easy. I'll just go back into uh, uh, stage mode here. And what I'm going to do is just bring uh, an item onto my screen, an image. So I'm going to go to my desktop here. And I have this glove that I've used in another tutorial, a PNG. So I'm going to click and drag it. And I'm going to open up my uh, Crazy Talk Animator 3 here. Just place it anywhere on the screen. And it'll ask if you want to import it as a prop, image layer, yada, yada. Just select prop. Okay, so now we have this glove prop uh, right now. If we want to save it for further use, we just go to prop, or rather we go to custom up here rather, and we go to prop custom, and just press the plus key down here. And that'll save it as a custom prop. Let's just uh, type in, not globe, glove. There we go. And now we have this custom glove prop. And I've done the same thing for this bird here in the nest, and I've also done the same thing for all these separate parts, these images for the uh, compass that we're going to use to replace. Okay. So I'm just going to delete the uh, glove right now. We're not going to use that in this tutorial. We're going to go back to replacing the images on this skull and crossbones. Okay, so let's go over here to composer mode again. And we're going to use the background here. We're going to replace it with this kind of background uh, circle right here. So I'm just going to double click that. And you can see it seems like it appears like nothing's there. Uh, but it's actually, in fact, has applied behind the skull here. So I can click the skull image and move it to the side. And you can see there it is. So what you want to do here is try and keep things uniform. Uh, I like to use this link, uh, unlock, uh, lock ratio here. And I'm going to, you know, change it to about a uh, ratio of about 250. 
and that's going to apply the uh, same value to the uh, height as well, just to make it a little bit larger. Okay, and that's a good way to do things. And the skull, we're going to do the same thing, but it's the skull we're going to replace with this image right here. So you can see that one needs a similar treatment. So we're just going to go ahead and type in uh, 250 here for the width. And then we also want to center it. So we're going to uh, put in 0 and 0 on the x and y axes. And it'll go right to the middle. I'd recommend doing, doing it this way just so everything's aligned. And you don't have to kind of guess things with your mouse. All right, so let's do the uh, bone over here. And we're going to use this uh, star for the bone. And again, the same thing. Just select it. Uh, this time we're going to type in, again, 250. Now, what I want to do is uh, use a zero for rotation value, so it's not rotated at all. And then we're going to do the zero for the Y and zero for the X. Okay, so we have this nice looking compass right there, or it's starting to look nice. We need the uh, little dial thing for it. So let's select the final bone here and double click this dial. And then the same thing, we're going to do the similar treatment for that one. Just enter in zero, zero. And we're going to enter in a value of uh, 200 for this one, make it a little bit smaller. And you can notice that, in fact, it's behind the uh, cross here. So what you want to do is make sure your layers uh, are correct here. So you want to send it to the front. And boom, it'll go to the front right there. So now we have our custom prop. And if you want, at this point, you can save it as a custom uh, compass, which I've already done over here. We can you know, save it again just to kind of show you here. Uh, no, we don't want to have a file selected. Uh, so just go ahead and save it as compass. Okay, and then we can go back into uh, stage mode here. And in stage mode, you can see it's midway through the animation. So boom, there we go. Okay, so again, we'll go to the motion track right here. It's going to appear on the screen just like that. Okay, we can you know take it just like this. Okay, so we've uh, reused that custom motion on our compass, which is pretty cool. And again, we can you know take it into composer mode and resize it and everything uh, and have fun with that. Now here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. You can see a lot of similarities in the way that the various parts of the props uh, behave. Let's give one more example here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this compass right now. I'm going to go to my uh, props and we're going to go to the template props here. Let's close down our timeline now. We know all about that. So there's one here, uh, toaster, I believe, at the very bottom. Let's apply this toaster here. All right, so if I right click on the toaster, uh, go to frame one first, right click on the toaster, action menu, Toaster popping. We have these toasts popping up just like that. Okay. So I've also saved a couple of images as you may have seen before. I'm going to go to the frame one here and I'm going to go to the composer mode here. The custom images that I saved before were in the regular prop custom folder, a bird and a nest. Okay. So we're going to just use this uh, toaster. We're going to replace that with a nest. Double click it and it looks okay. I don't think we need to resize it or anything. And we'll take, you know, one of the pieces of toast. We'll take this one on the right and replace that with a bird. Okay, so then we have a bird, and we can select these other items here and just delete them because we don't want them to be interfering with our scene. So we have a cute little bird in the nest, and you can reposition that wherever you'd like. I think it looks okay right here, maybe a little bit further down, something like that. Okay, and then we'll take it back into stage mode. Okay, so now we have this nest here, and if we play back, boop, we have the bird popping up, and the and end point will be exactly where we placed it. Okay? So that's really cool. That's a really interesting and quick little tip on how you can apply uh, animated animations to your animated props and then replace the various image images in your prop uh, to kind of create a different sort of animation. And you can go, go wild with that, use all kinds of different props. There's lots of images you can find for free on the internet. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching again. Hopefully you learned a lot. And make sure you check out the old forums again at forums.reillusion.com. Uh, forum and I'll see you in the next video.